Okay, we are joined by uh, Professor Frimpon Mansu, Reverend Professor Frimpon Mansu. He joins us on Zoom. Uh, Prof, thank you very much for your time here on Newsdex. Uh, the president says churches can resume worship. You only have a limitation of 100 congregants, but also within one hour. Is that something that you can deal with? Thank you very much and good afternoon to, good morning to our listeners. Well, we are not in the normal times, as we all have been saying. It's a new normal. We will have loved to be in churches full, greeting one another, shaking one another, touching one another, dancing and jumping and clapping for hours. But the Bible says in, I think, 1 Chronicles 12, 32, the children of Issachar understood the times, because the times that we are in, we perfectly agree with the presidents. In fact, his address has answered three key questions or three key focus areas. That is our own safety and security, the security of the congregants, and the safety and the security of the nation. So as we go to church or we worship on Sunday first, you will fumigate or uh, Disinfect all churches. I have made a rule, personal rule, no mask, no entry. So we will wear the nose mask until the service is over, but make it a habit of wearing it now. Then observe observation of our social distances. That has brought about the multiple services and the limited number in services. Um, so that we should at least observe one meter, sit one meter apart mm. without greeting one another at all times, and finally, enhance personal hygiene. So we are saying that we will use buried cover case at the entrance of the church, of course. I'm also recommending thermometer guns. So buried cover case with running water, with soap, washing our hands, and of course, using of sanitizers, throwing the tissue paper on the bean, and make sure that when you go to the church, you don't greet one another. Those who be using microphones, if they need be, use one microphone, don't change phones, and uh, the service should be brief. People have been asking me whether we can do it for one hour. I say yes, it's amount to planning. Every enterprise based on planning will succeed because we are not in normal times. Preach a short sermon, short worship, and announcement, make the service brief so that another people can get opportunity to come. Mm -hmm. The longer we stay in, we may forget ourselves and do the things that we are not supposed to do. So because of the times that we are in, we will say that uh, let us take it and see what the Lord will do. Um, yes, we are not in normal times. Yes, we are not in normal times. The question I guess for many is, uh, who comes at what time? Who comes first? How are you going to regulate that so that at every point in time you have 100 people in church, but also you want to be careful that you don't have people massing up outside the auditorium yeah that that should show for the skills of the church leaders there may be more multiple approach people can use day bombs say those who were born on monday first service tuesday second service third day some people can say monday and tuesday depend upon the size of the church others can use months of the year all those who were born january february march april but most of the churches are very, very, very organized. So they know how to organize Sunday schools, attend funerals. I remember the church I was pastoring. We had team A, B, and C, even some of them up to E. So all these things have been pre-planned. And I know we will execute it, and Ghanaians will see how the church, the house of God, is so organized. You know, Jesus, when he was going to feed the multitude, told them to sit in groups and the five loaves and two fishes were shared among them. We know how to do it, and the people of Ghanaians will see the best that we have. We uh, will succeed. Rev, I want to find out from you, are you ready for coming Sunday? Because some have suggested that if it's possible, uh, churches can hold on and fashion this out properly, so that once it, it rolls out, then you'll be in a position to uh, control this and have a more effective uh, and, and well controlled service so that you observe all the protocols. Are you ready for Sunday? We are more than ready to use an American expression. We are overly ready. Wow. You know, we have been preparing and planning 
over two months because we knew one day we will go. The church coming on board can actually even enhance the monitoring and the implementation of all the protocols that will subdue COVID. I know that there may be one or two people who may do contrary, but generally, church members are law abiding. Church, you know, those people who are saying this are the same people who come to church. We are law abiding, we are organized, the most disciplined entity in the society, and we will tell Ghanaians that we are of age. And, yes, and a very final one. Of few people. A very I mean, final one, Prof. Um, the issue about the children's service. Uh, it, how are you going to ensure social distancing uh, among children? Yeah. W w is this something that you can suspend for now, or there's a way to go around it? Three questions come. Not only children. My take has been older people, pregnant women, yeah. or people who are not very well mm -hmm. should possibly stay at home. Okay. And if you can keep their children at home, it will be good. But some people are saying that uh, we, are, we will not be there to control or direct or guide the children. So those who want to bring the children, children services, at least every five children, there should be one adult. And there should also be that social distancing. There are two scenarios. Either you bring the children into the main auditorium and sit close to their parents who can guard and watch them or if you have a children's service the, the, the ratios will be one to five so that they can monitor and take care of the children and mind you the service is not going to be long so if the children service is well organized with few other things possibly a television program for them to watch for 20 minutes a b c and d it will come I am optimistic. Somebody, I mean, Sir Winston Churchill has said, pessimists sees opportunities, in oppor difficulties in opportunities, but optimists sees opportunities in difficulties. And being such an optimistic person, I believe we will succeed, the church will succeed, and Ghanaians will salute the church. Those who have not seen the structures of the church will possibly give us a salute when we have gone through this exercise. Let me say that Corona has come to stay. It will take time for us to go, and we should do everything possible to contain it and live with it for now. I want to thank you very much, Reverend Professor Frimpo Manso. He is the uh, chairman for the Pentecostal Land Charismatic Council. Uh, is Mr. Kabonu still with us on the line? Yes. Yes. Your, your very final words as you prepare for next week, uh, SHS students, uh, final years, but also the other track of the senior high school students. Yes. Uh, we will ask that the form two students be, uh, be taken out of the equation for now so that we see how we can establish uh, protocols and how we can adhere to those protocols uh, for the final year students. Again, we should also give the freedom and the right of parents to decide whether they want their children to come uh, to school or not. And those who decide that they don't want their, parents, their children to come to school, we should be able to make allowances for them and so that whenever they feel it is appropriate, they can let their children join the educational uh, path for their children to go. Let us all move in such a way that it is life that we want to preserve here. It is life that matters here, and we all have to take decision with cool heads. Thank you very much. Angel Carbonu is president of Nagrati, joined us over the phone uh, for his thoughts on the uh, restrictions eased by the president and also the directive for final years to resume school and finish up the academic year. Uh, you had also Reverend Professor Frempo Manso, who is chairman of the Pentecostal and Charismatic Council.